Hawaii Volcano Eruption News Live, residents told go now as lava and toxic gas spreads. Residents have been urged to flee their homes as the threat from Hawaii's Kilauea volcano eruption grows, with officials issuing an emergency mobile alert after an 11th fissure opened. Here is the latest news and live updates on the Kilauea volcano. Emergency authorities told people on Hawaii's Big Island to go now on Sunday night local time after a new fissure opened up in the Leilani Estates. The residential area is home to 1,700 people and is located 12 miles from Hawaii's volatile Kilauea volcano, which has been spewing lava in a major eruption since Thursday. More than 26 homes have been destroyed, while the latest fissure has released potentially life-threatening sulfur dioxide gas into the air. People living in Lanipuna Gardens are banned from returning home due to dangerous volcanic gases, Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency said. The Civil Defense Agency also warned others to stay away in a statement which read, This is not the time for sightseeing. You can help tremendously by staying out of the area. USGS said lava fountains up to 100m, 330 feet, high were spewing into the air on Luana Road in the Leilani Estates area between Leilani and Malama. No fatalities or major injuries have been reported. Officials have also warned people to be alert for further seismic activity after a 6.9 earthquake shook buildings on the island's southeast corner at little afternoon local time on Friday 7.05 p.m., lava flows claim 35 structures in the Leilani Estates continued lava flow has damaged or destroyed 35 structures in total, including 26 houses from the local residency. Residents were briefly allowed back into the area to collect belongings and pets, but the lava has continued to push through the town. Authorities claim that almost half the area is inaccessible due to toxic gas and lava. 4.41 p.m., eruptions could be like 1955 when they lasted 88 days geologists say this week's activity is beginning to look like an event in 1955 in which eruptions continued for 88 days in the area and covered around 4,000 acres with lava, though few people lived there back then. Jim Kawahikoa, a research geophysicist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said that the 1955 eruption caused coastal community evacuations from Kalapana to Kapoho. He said, sections of every public road to the coastline were buried by lava. 3.45 p.m., volcanologist says situation unpredictable prominent volcanologist Dr. Janine Crippler has warned of the volatility of events at Kilauea. She tweeted, even though there was warning, the long-term situation at Number Kilauea is unpredictable. This system is constantly changing and this could go on for quite some time. Follow at USGS Volcanoes for volcano updates. 3.27 p.m., what dangers does sulfur dioxide, sulfur dioxide, pose? Sulfur dioxide, or sulfur dioxide, is a toxic chemical gas with a pungent smell, released naturally during volcanic explosions. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, says on its website, short-term exposures to SO2 can harm the human respiratory system and make breathing difficult. Children, the elderly, and those who suffer from asthma are particularly sensitive to effects of SO2. People who are exposed to particles from the toxin on a long-term basis could develop serious heart and lung problems. The gas can also cause acid rain and harm trees and planets by damaging foliage and decreasing growth, according to EPA. People with lung conditions are being advised to take precautions. 2.25 p.m., homeowners may not be covered if their property is destroyed as lava continues to spread across residential areas, a Hawaii government official has said residents may not be adequately insured in the eventuality of losing their home. Jerry Bump Chief Deputy Insurance Commissioner at the Hawaii Department of Commerce and Consumer Affairs, told CNN there is no such thing as volcano insurance or lava flow insurance because it is so rare and expensive. He said, it's not something that would be offered by many insurers. People who live in designated USGS lava zoned areas, trying to get coverage would be difficult. For insurers' perspective, it's what we call anti-selection the risk is just too high. The people who are buying houses there realize they live in a risk area. 
1.45 p.m., resident speaks of devastation after losing home A single mum of two has spoken out after her home in Leilani Estates was destroyed by lava. Amber Makuakane Kane, 37, had lived in her three-bedroom house for nine years before it was covered in lava after a nearby fissure opened up on Friday. The teacher found out after her security system set her prompts caused by motion sensors being triggered inside her property. She told Associated Press, the volcano and the lava it's always been a part of my life. It's devastating, but I've come to terms with it. 1.36 p.m., donors urged to contact Salvation Army to offer support A donation line has been issued in the U.S. for people wanting to help people affected by the Kilauea eruption. Mayor Harry Kim tweeted that donors should call the Salvation Army for in-kind or monetary donations 1.31 p.m., Bright spots of lava flows caught by NOAA satellites Molten lava flows seeping from the Kilauea volcano eruption have been captured by satellites for NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It tweeted, Lava continued to spew from the new fissures in number Leilani Estates number Pune number Hawaii. Our polar orbiting Suomi NPP satellite captured this image yesterday, showing a continued bright spot in the location of the fissures. 1.18 p.m., emergency hub to open late for worried residents, Hawaii mayor says an eruption information center will open at 9 a.m. local time on Monday to offer urgent assistance for the affected community in Pahoa. Mayor of Hawaii County Harry Kim tweeted that the center will open from 9 a.m. on Monday, 8 p.m. BST time, to 3 p.m., 2 a.m. BST. A county of Hawaii issued statement read, the center will be open at the Sacred Hearts Church Hall from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Besides providing information about the eruption, the center will offer social service information for the evacuees from the Leilani Estates and Lani Puna Garden subdivisions. 1.14 p.m., eruptions of lava and gas expected to continue Officials have said lava eruptions and toxic gas flows will continue along with aftershocks from Friday's 6.9-magnitude earthquake the largest in the area since 1975, according to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. A lava flow advanced 0.6 of a mile from one of the vents. Geologists said the activity looked like an event in 1955 when eruptions continued for 88 days in the area and covered around 4,000 acres with lava. 1.05 p.m., Evacuees allowed brief return home to collect pets Evacuees from Leilani Estates have been granted temporary access to their homes to collect pets, medications and to check their property. One resident Jeremy Wilson found homes surrounded by fissures, cracks that can spread up to hundreds of feet long. Mr. Wilson said, my house is right in the middle, and turned his car around when he saw steam coming from cracks in the road ahead. Liz Lovejoy Yunt CEO owner of Pele's Kitchen Restaurant, was one of those relieved to be allowed home briefly. She told Hawaii News Now, we were actually praying for this last night that we would get one opportunity and we'd be ready to take it. 